Have you ever wondered what games you should keep or you should lose? Find out here at Purdue. Ascension was one of the first board games to kind of take that Dominion deck building game and add something else to it. What they did was, instead of having piles of cards that you could purchase from, there were cards in the middle, and six of those that were out, that you could purchase, but it would kind of cycle through. So something that might be available on this person's turn would not be available on your turn. And then you would have to see if you could afford it, and you would try to score victory points by that. So everybody didn't have the same exact cards but rather they were being cycled through. And this was kind of different. And you've seen games like Legendary build off of Ascension. And this is, you know, DC deck building is the same way. And this has kind of become the preferred way to go versus the dominion of having the eight or 10 stacks of cards. You would have a stream of cards coming through that are all very different. So it's not just a matter of maximizing these cards, but having a wide variety to buy and giving a lot more different combos that either can be purchased can be put together or how they will come up in their deck. But it also can lead to a lot of uncertainty, right? Maybe some balancing issues. But Ascension has added a ton of expansions to it. And I got to say, it's taking the board gaming world by storm. It's no longer the big mega game that I think that perhaps it was at one point with all the expansions that have come out. But it's a pretty solid one. Now, it's not one that I would go to. It's very similar to Marvel Legendary. Marvel Legendary has borrowed quite a bit from... Ascension and added a little bit to it that storytelling the schemes that are kind of in legendary but what you get in Ascension is a boiled down legendary and it works very well let me preface it by saying it came out first so legendary borrows from it not the other way around but if you're looking for something simpler with your kids or you just want a little bit more straightforward of a deck builder this would be a place to go now I'm not a fan of the artwork I'm not a fan of the way that it looks the theme doesn't really attract me to it whatever they have the superhero theme of either DC or whether have the superhero theme of Marvel this will appeal to some people for that I would say hey look this is a very popular series it's very well balanced it works it has a lot of expansions things that you can add to it and it's a very flexible game you can take cards out put them in based on your playing style and how you and your friends want the game to do. I think that's very fair to say. The artwork is going to appeal to some people. It wasn't necessarily my bag, but it could be yours. Very solid game. It has a unique position in the board gaming history, I feel. I feel like it's the one that opened up the deck builders. Like, okay, we have this mega game Dominion. What else can we do? I feel like Ascension was a big part of that. The app is amazing. I think if you're going to play this game, I'd probably go towards the app. I think the app is really, really good. It fits my needs, maybe not yours. But Ascension is just one of those games, I think, that has its special place in board gaming history. I would rather play other games, which is why I'm purging this game. But I think for a lot of people, the decision-making you're going to make on the combinations, how you buy cards, how they work together, what's available in a certain turn, the differentiation between the cards and what they do and what you have available and what I have available... I think it's a pretty beautiful game. It's not just about turning that corner and I'm going to start scoring victory points. How do I best use these eight cards? I think there's a lot more going on here. At least it gives your mind more to trigger. And I think it's superior to Dominion and that Dominion style of having those cards just set up. Some people will enjoy the Dominion side of things where it's like these eight cards. How do I, how do I take these eight cards and score a lot of points and do better than you versus the variability, perhaps luck, that you would see more an ascension of, wow, that card wasn't available my turn. Had that been there, I would have won. That kind of thinking. Or, on my turn, it was only stinky cards that came up. Okay, fair enough. But this is a really fun game. One that I actually, even though this channel is a keep or purge, and I'm purging it, I, you know, I never get wishy-washy on this. This is a really good game. I think a lot of people will enjoy. I would say dip your toes in it. Check out the app first. Very cheap introduction to the game. Or try somebody's copy of this and see if this fits your deck building needs. This game's an absolute winner, but like I said before, will be a purge for me. Here's Ascension, the deck building game. You can see it's got a pretty striking cover here with this guy coming out. But it's going to give you a little bit of a hint of what the artwork is going to be. You're going to have a rule book when you set this up, which we'll take a look at. You're going to have a board that will fit right in here. And then you will kind of have your cards that will kind of be... You have different spots for them. Mine got shuffled up a little bit. You can tell that's not perfect. The artwork on it is okay. It's, you know, you may or may not like this type of artwork that is on it. Let's see some of this here with Snapdragon. You can kind of see. You have your text and your symbols that you'll be needing up there. 
Some of the artwork can be pretty crazy, but it's been kind of hit or miss. You're gonna get a bunch of these red and clear jewels that you'll be using. These are actually fairly nice that you'll be having. And at the time this game was first released, it's not something that you saw a whole lot of. But the components are pretty good. The artwork, yeah, your mileage may vary depending on whether you like the artwork or not. And that may go into whether you like this style of game or not. Here's the Ascension rulebook. It has the cover from the box on it. You're going to have an, an introduction to the world and how to get started and how to set up. And the contents, no, no components, no pictures, boo. But it does tell you how many you play up to right here. And then it's going to have an explanation of how the game will be laid out. You're going to have your hero cards explained, which is great. This is going to be where most of the game is going to be. Your construct cards, your monster cards. Big, giant pictures. Love this. With a little stuff around it. Take a whole page up on it. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Then you can jump in how to play the game. Not a whole lot of pictures. A little bit over here, but it shouldn't be too difficult to figure out. Banishing cards and the game end. The game is actually really simple. And you have a fact here at the back from things they found out. And some gameplay variants if you want to play solitaire or if you want to play by the team rules. And then a glossary of terms at the back. I actually found the rule book to be very good. Very easy game to understand how to play. And one that I recommend from learning it from the rule book. Everybody's going to start the game with two militia and eight apprentices. These will give you plus one, and these will give you plus one to the shield. You're going to shuffle these up. And when you're done shuffling, you're going to draw five cards. One, two, three, four, five. And that will be your starting hand. The other one will be your deck. You also put the cultist card, the mystic cards, and the heavy entry cards up the front. And you'll have your pot here. You're going to shuffle up, shuffle up the remaining cards, and you will stack them right there. Based on the number of players, you will play to a certain victory point total. So you have two currencies in this game. You're going to have your power, which you will utilize to buy this. So this will cost three, and it will give you two power each turn. And then you will have this currency here that you utilize to fight. This card costs two to purchase, and it will give you two of that power, which you will use to defeat these guys. This one requires three and has a reward here at the bottom. So you... So you would take your five cards, which have one, two, three, and then you have two of these that you'll be able to put. So to buy something for three, look here at the prices of four. So maybe I would buy this card for three. One, two, three. And then I would have two of these, one, two, and there's nothing to buy here. I put these in my discard pile, and then I would draw my new five cards that I would have one, two, three, four, five, and be ready for my next turn. Now, when you beat a monster, you're going to gain one of these, and these will be your victory points towards the game, and it will also give you an additional rune that you have to spend, and this is how you're going to win the game if you get a number of these. When you buy a card, a new one is placed out to take its spot. When you defeat the monster, it's placed down here in the void. These, if you're able to obtain these, these will be added to your discard pile. These will move down, and a... And a new card will be brought out to fill up the staff. This is the cultist card. You can play this and fight this as many times as you want. This gives you a victory point. It costs two to beat and you keep getting a victory point every time that you defeat that. Who should buy this game? There are so many deck building games out there. I really say pick one based on the theme. They all work pretty much the same with different little levels on them and what kind of variability that you would prefer. But I think with deck building and the amount of games there are, you should pick a theme that you like and go from there. Do you like dungeon dwelling? Then you might want Thunderstone. Do you want building a kingdom? You might get Dominion. Do you want superheroes? You might get Marvel or DC based on your preferences. So for me, I think it's going to be all about theme. Which theme do you want a deck builder? Do you want just a deck builder? Or do you want deck building to be part of the game like copycat? If you want it to be just the game, deck building, then you pick a theme. Oh, I like this theme. Then you get this one. And I think that's going to be the niche. Let me say this, if you have kids that are being introduced into deck building, I think, personally, Ascension is the way to go over, say, Dominion. I think a lot more games in deck building are going to be like Ascension than they are Dominion. I think this little system they have here has been copied a lot and is really the go-to now more than Dominion. Thanks for watching, 
and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. I really appreciate you tuning in. If you liked it, please like it and hit that little subscribe button. That really helps out the channel. Let's us know that you're getting the videos that you want. If you agreed or disagree with what I said, feel free to comment below. I'd love to hear what you have to say, and I promise that I will comment back. Thanks for watching, and everybody else, keep playing.